What's going on YouTube? Back again with a very quick, uh, informative, entertaining. I'm back again with a video. That's all that counts. I had two questions on Snapchat this week and I figured I'd make a quick little video just answering them. Question was, am I in the best shape of my life right now? They see me eating uh, foot long subs and I post pictures on Instagram with nachos and sometimes pizza and things like that. And the reason why I post those pictures as opposed to the pictures of like sliced cucumbers and egg whites because that's nobody wants to see that shit everybody would rather see the food uh, the good food the food porn whatever you want to call it um, and that's basically why I post those pictures please believe that I'm not eating delicious delicious food every meal of the day um, most of the time I'm either having protein bars protein shakes there's only so many times you can show that without it getting boring right so I will probably never be in the best shape I'll never be able to match the shape I was in when I was 20 years old there's what I'm trying to say um, keep in mind I'm working out six days a week right now sometimes I'm doing two a days like this morning I trained legs pretty good workout Nah, it was just fair actually if I'm honest I'm waiting for a friend of mine to go train chest right now and then uh, so that'll be two today but normally I do a workout and then I play squash for an hour and I do that about th squash three days a week hockey twice a week so but when I was 20 years old the very best shape of my life uh, no when I, uh, I would have been 18 when I was 18 years old not 20 I don't know why I got 20 in my head when I was 18 years old uh, I started working out. fell in love with it completely uh, man I used to do it every day but what happened was when I was in high school normally in Canada it takes three years to graduate high school it took me three and a half years to graduate come graduation time I had all of my mandatory courses um, I didn't have my three elective courses so I had to go back for half a semester uh, to make up for that which is fine or whatever and what I did is I took a, a program called co-op it's cooperative workplace and what that ha what that means is that basically I worked I got to pick where I wanted to work as long as they allowed it and I would get school credits instead of getting paid for it so what I did is I I knew the owner of the gym that I was training at at the time um, and I just asked him he said no problem so I started taking four courses working at the gym so basically what happened was I would go through co-op and I would work from 9 o'clock in the morning until 1 o'clock for free no money involved I would just get school credits but what happened was the way it worked out I used to have to jog to the gym in the morning I, could, I never had a car obviously I was only 18 didn't have my license my parents would never drive me so I would jog to the gym it was about a 15 minute jog and I got pretty fast at doing it doing it every day so and then I would just take off I would run to the gym and basically what I would do from 9 o'clock until 1 o'clock is I would fold towels I would wash marks off the squash ball or the squash ball marks off the squash courts um, clean machines spot people in the weight room which is actually where I learned most of my knowledge was in the weight room during that probably four months of my life between nine to one was when all the big boys used to be able to go work out and i'd just kind of pick the brains learn from them which turned out being really good and then from one o'clock until four o'clock i had a break which is when i would eat i had the same meal every day i had a can of tuna with some olives and some pickles and some rice mixed with mustard and i would eat that and then I would work out and I would do two body parts every day and then I would swim laps because there was a pool shower and then I would actually work at the gym from 4 until 10 o'clock at night and I would get paid for it that was my job at the time and then I would have to jog home so I jogged to the gym uh, did my co-op worked out did cardio worked and then jogged home and I had no idea about nutrition at that point. I was completely not undernourished, but I wasn't eating enough calories. I wasn't eating enough protein to actually grow muscle. 
So what happened was I just started burning fat and I got down to about 175 pounds and I've never really been under 200 my whole life. I've played sports, hockey, rugby, soccer, stuff like that, but I've always been thick, husky, big boned as we call it. Um, and so I was about 175 pounds. I have a picture of it and I'll show you right here. And uh, that was the best shape I was in. I was still playing rugby at the time, working out, running. Um, and I mean, I could get to that level again, but where I have kids and stuff, I'm not going to take my kids to go get ice cream and not eat ice cream with them. It's not that serious to me. I love working out still. That's important. If you don't love working out, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Um, I love playing squash. I love playing sports. I'm 230 pounds. I'm right at that level right now where I'm still strong and I'm still able to keep up when I play sports. If I go down another 15, 20 pounds, I lose the majority of my strength. Obviously, I'm a faster runner. I'm in better shape. So that answers that question. Am I in the best shape of my life? Hell no is the answer. And I'm completely okay with it because I absolutely love I absolutely love what I'm doing right now for fitness, for bodybuilding. There's Gage right there. We're going to go work out. We're going to hit some chest. See you in the next video. Peace. Man, I just want to go flex. Hold on my teeth and on my neck.